correctly predict some player props, some game props, and some winners in the NBA tonight, and you can win $50,000. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Jason Mattis with Winning Bets. Thanks for hanging out with me on this episode. That's right, it's the NBA Pick and Roll Contest over on the NBC Sports Predictor app where we can win $50,000 where they give us a mix of player props, some game props, and also a couple of games about who's going to win and what's going to be the win margin. If you can correctly predict all that, you can win the $50,000 prize. If not, they'll give away a guaranteed $1,000 prize of group people that get the most right. There were no jackpot winners last week, as there's not been any so far in this contest. And last week, we were able to improve our score. We upped our score to 25 points. So let's look to see if we can improve again this week. With that being said, let's jump on into it. The first question is, which player is going to score the most points? We've got Levine, Vuvich, Curry, Beal, Westbrook, and Fox here in this one. For the Bulls, I think they're going to potentially blow out the Magic. So I'm not going to go ahead and pick either one of those two players because I think maybe those two guys will be resting there in the fourth quarter of a blowout. And then this really came down to me, the Kings and the Wizards. Kings and the Wizards here, they both rank in the top 10 in terms of points scored and also points allowed in the NBA. And they also rank in the top 10 in possessions per game. So I think that this one obviously is going to be the most high scoring. And in fact, the sports books agree with that as well. In terms of the over-under in all the NBA games, this one is the highest over-under over currently right now by 13 points. So to me, it was easily to pick between Fox and Beal. I'll go ahead and say Bradley Beal. Look, he's the NBA scoring champion right now for a reason. So I like Bradley Beal to get the most points in tonight's NBA games amongst these players. Question two is how many rebounds will the Bulls get against the Magic? Well, the Bulls are getting roughly 45 per, 45 per game, where the Magic are getting about 46-ish per game. I like this 44 to 46. It fits into both of these teams' average. I obviously am aware that this question you know, is really only asking you about the, about the Bulls, but this question or this answer will get both of these teams what they need, and it's just really overall tight windows to pick from. So, yeah, 44 to 46 for me. Question three is how many assists will the Warriors get against the Thunder? Well, the Warriors are number two in the NBA at getting 27 per game with the Thunder or allowing 25 per game. I'll say 30 to 31, though, because we know that the, that the Thunder are going younger in this NBA season. They've already you know, sat Al Horford down. They also have their best player, SGA. He's still out you know, due to the injury. So I think the Warriors will have more success in this game. They'll get more assists. They'll get a little bit above their average at 30 to 31. In this same game, question four is how many total three-pointers will be made? Well, both these teams are making about 13 per game, and they're also both allowing roughly 13 to 14 per game. So they're doing about the same. Again, I'm going to go a little bit higher, though. I'm going to go ahead and say 29 to 31. I think the Warriors, again, will have success against the Thunder, and then the Thunder will be shooting more threes, trying to play catch-up to what the Warriors are trying to do. So I got both of them going above their average at 29 to 31 total three-pointers in the game. Question five is how many points will the Kings score against the Wizards? Well, the Kings are scoring 114 per game, while the Wizards are allowing 119. Again, we mentioned about both these teams, though, being extremely fast-paced, both these teams giving up and scoring a lot. And the sportsbooks have the Kings total at 118.5. I'll say it's above that at 122 to 125 points scored there for the Kings. Question six, the same thing for the Wizards. The Wizards, again, they're scoring 114 per game, and the Kings are allowing 119. This should be a really you know, good, close ball game there. The sportsbooks have the Wizards number at 120.5. So I'll go ahead and say I've got the Kings scoring more. I'll say the Wizards also score more. This pace, guys, this it's going to be the pace of this game, which is really going to contribute to a high-scoring game. It's going to be fascinating to watch how fast these two teams get up and down the court. I've got the Wizards scoring 124 to 130 points in this game. Question seven is what's going to be the winner and what's going to be the win margin in the Magic versus the Bulls game? I was shocked. You guys know from my uploading the contest for tonight's Fox Bet Super 6 contest where we can win $25,000 on six NBA games tonight. I like the Bulls in this one. I like the Bulls big. I was shocked that they put the ceiling at this one at 11+. plus. To me, it's 11 plus all day long for the Bulls beating up on the Magic. And then question eight is going to this uh, Wizards-Kings game, giving them a winner and a win margin there in Wizards versus Kings. I'll say the Wizards do win this game, obviously, based on how I've got the points being allocated there in questions five or six. I think the Wizards will win the game by five to six points. All right, guys, can't wait to see how this contest unfolds tonight. Really excited for it. Go ahead and hit the like button if I've been of help to you. And as always, good luck on your picks, and I'll see you on the next contest. Thanks for watching this episode of Winning Bets. I'm Jason Mattis. I'll see you again when we are celebrating the wins and making more winning bets.
Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more winning bets.